Hi, good morning. This is Dr. T. So today is Thursday, and we are about to start our first case of the day. Uh, we are doing a minimally invasive lumbar fusion uh, using OptiLift and percutaneous pedicle screws uh, for the patient who has severe back pain from spondylolisthesis. Spondylolisthesis is the condition that the spine is not lined up, it's slide forward, it's unstable. The patient has failed all non surgical measures medications, injections, uh, she can't do anything much and she decided to proceed with the minimal invasive fusion. So the OptiLift is surgery that we can be done through a very small tube. Basically, I think the OptiLift is complement the endoscopic spine surgery that I offer to the patient or vice versa. The surgery itself is pretty safe in the sense that uh, we have a real-time monitoring the path, make sure that we don't uh, come close to the nerve and enter the disc in a small fashion with kind of 7mm or 8mm tube. And uh, they have excellent tools to do a radical disectomy or uh, preparation of the uh, end plates. And, uh, uh, expandable device can be done through a small hole and uh, nowadays in the patients that uh, have a difficult anatomy I can use the endoscope to help identify the safe area for the optimum and uh, also they have the uh, a good data in terms of outcomes uh, fusion rate complications so I think it will be an excellent minimal invasive uh, moving forward. Hi, so it's Dr. T again. Uh, we finished the first surgery. Everything went well. We accomplished uh, the surgery that we discussed, meaning that we were able to place the expandable device between the L4 and L5 vertebral body. Uh, we distract the this height. We increase the foramenal height and we reduce the spondylolisthesis. Uh, all the things that we discussed uh, were done through a minimally invasive approach. Uh, we end up using the OptiLift uh, inside the disc space, which is nice. The incision is about one centimeter and percutaneous screws about an inch on both sides. So everything went well and hopefully that uh, she has speedy recovery.